Hi everyone, how are you doing today? This is Janine in the Little Nun's Room on YouTube and IGTV. So, I had a very emotional day yesterday because my little niece was born and today I'm feeling the after effects of tiredness and um, elation. It was just so, so awesome. And I stayed up particularly late last night because I bought a bottle of champagne and a special bar of chocolate to celebrate with because this is a story about love, beauty, the future and hope and hope. And when you've got a new baby in your family, I think with the world as it is, future and hope and love and beauty are the things that you want for your little baby niece and nephews and and your children so I buy this bottle of champagne it wasn't a particularly expensive one and I buy this bar of chocolate here's the wrapper now I've seen this bars of chocolate for a while and bearing in mind that this was about 11 30 at night I know you're not supposed to eat chocolate that late because it doesn't help you sleep but I really fancied a bit so I opened it up and um, inside was this lovely silver wrapper. It really felt like Willy Wonka. It's like these bars, they're quite thick. They look like Willy Wonka. And I've I have genuinely never bought one before, only even though I was totally attracted to them because they're so beautiful, because they're so big, <laughs> like really thick bars of chocolate. And I was like, no, that's not, that's not a good idea. It's not a good idea in my house, in my home. Um, but anyway, majorly special occasion. So I buy this bar of chocolate, bring it back, like I said, open it up and there's this beautiful silver packaging. And then when I open it, the way the design, um, it actually shows you, you can just about see this beautiful design. It's all quirky and it's got Tonys and it's, it's like, it's really, oh, it's just fantastic looking, really, really beautiful. It doesn't stop there. So we've got this Willy Wonka idea going on. So not only are these chocolate bars absolutely beautiful and absolutely colourful, they're also incredible flavours. This one was, um, uh, it was caramel sea salt milk chocolate. Heaven, heaven. <sighs> totally worth wetting a baby's head with. <laughs> so there's this story inside. I'm like, oh, what's this? What's this? And it's all beautifully printed. So I'm going to read it out to you. Share our chocolate, share our story. So here I am. Right now, there is slavery. I can't believe I'm even saying this, however many hundred years later. But right now, there is slavery. Well, I'm not saying it. They've written it. On cocoa farms in West Africa. This is a result of the unequally divided cocoa chain. Tony's Chocolate Only exists to change that. Not just our chocolate, but all chocolate worldwide. With incredibly tasty chocolate, we lead by example and show the world that chocolate can be made differently in taste, packaging, and the way we do business with cocoa farmers. Alone, we make slave-free chocolate, but together we'll make all chocolate 100% slave-free. Slave-free. So we ask you to join us. The more people who join our mission and share our story, the sooner. 100% slave free becomes the norm in chocolate. The choice is yours. You in? Please check www.tonyschocolonely.com. Crazy about chocolate, serious about people. Wow. I had no idea. I had absolutely no idea but what I love is that the story behind this is first represented as a beautiful package just like this that's going to get us lovely human beings that like all sorts of sparkly gorgeous light bright wonderful things attracted to it we will pick it up knowing also that inside there's going to be absolute deliciousness not only deliciousness but 100% slave free deliciousness and then on top of that, there is a story and a legacy. I mean, I that for me, that is it. That this is the way to get story of change across. This is the way. 
I, I can't think of anything better right now. Am I going to buy more bars of this? Of course, I'm going to buy more bars of this. Not only is this the most incredible thing, an incredible find on my niece's, like every year her birthday now, then um, I, not only is it incredible that I found it on the, on that special day, this gives me hope for her future that that even beyond my belief right now that we have slavery in the world, don't get me wrong, I did know that. But if it's done in this way, it can go in, it can sink in, and then we can start doing things about it. If things are done in such ways where it's force fed or all I'm saying is this is the way. I'm definitely looking up even more to do with this and I'm going to advocate and say guys check it out too if you've never had a look or bought a bar of this chocolate. So I'm sending love on this very very gloomy day in London. It hasn't helped that I've had a little bit of a hangover from a very late night with a bit of champagne and a little bit too much chocolate. No I did not eat the whole bar last night. <laughs> that would <laughs> if you see the big ones you'll see <laughs> far too much. But I wanted to share this story with you because this is the kind of stuff. This is the stuff, people. This is change. And I love it.